YouTube, what's up? Just got a message on Discord that a declone walk is happening in about five minutes. This time for declone, I'm on my chain lightning frozen orb sorceress level 98. So I'll go over my gear that I'm wearing and the skills and all that stuff for this declone. So I'm using an Oculus with a 5.5 light facet. I'm going, I'm using a Griffins. It's a 1913 Griffins and I, it is socketed, but it's socketed with a aim in it because I needed the strength because I lose the two strength points from Shaco. So I just threw that random thing in there um, for now. Mara's Spirit, Alder's Boots, two SOJs, Arachnid's Mesh, Enigma and a Mage Plate and mage fist double opt 1919 torch 2019 10 annie a cold skiller with 37 life and then a bunch of lightning skillers with random life mods random life mods then i have one faster hit recovery and 11 light res and then some other life and res charms life and res charms and then one seven mf and poison resist charm on swap i have a 262 cta and another spirit my mercenary is going to be wearing andy's with a 15 increase attack speed and fire resist jewel a Sacred Armor Fortitude with 6% ED. And Infinity and a Mancatcher. Mancatcher, fastest weapon for the this mercenary. And due to some data, the Mancatcher is best against Ubers. For my skill tree, I always forget to do this. Skill tree, one into Warmth. One into Frozen Armor. One into all these synergies, 15 points into Frozen Orb, one point into Cold Mastery. Then for my Lightning Skills, max out Charge Bolt, max out Lightning, max out Chain Lightning, max out Lightning Mastery, one point into Telekinesis, one point into Static Field. All my extra points are into Nova to boost the damage for Lightning and Chain Lightning. No points into teleport because I get that from Enigma. And then I have Hydras from the Torch mapped just in case I run into a light and cold immune monster, which is pretty rare. But when it does happen, having Hydras is a huge help. So you can do all elements of damage. And let's see. I have this extra strength because of that aim in the helm and then everything else into vitality this is my defense right now my mercenary is a defiance merc so i'll get a huge boost to defense from him once i step out of town and so i have where is it 130 faster cast rate. So I'm hitting the 117 breakpoint this time. Lightning damage will do a lot. So yeah, my method is going to be static and then just charge bolt. Static and charge bolt. We'll see how this fight goes. So static him. So he's about half. That was pretty easy, but Charge Bolt wasn't doing as much because it's kind of hard to just stand there and spam Charge Bolt because of his fire. So I had to kind of go around and like blast some regular lightnings and then throw in some frozen orbs to do some damage. But again, super quick, very fast kill with this build. 
So let's identify that anti charm. Again, anties are pretty much worthless unless it's perfect because there's so many, so many walks and people make so many games. And at this point, it's so easy. So let's see. Good evening. 18, 19, 8. Decent. Decent. So not a bad Annie. Uh, it's probably worth something on trade. Uh, yeah, so 18, 19, 8. Annie. 18, 19, 8. We will keep that in... Stash, and we'll go back to 2019-10. So the uh, Griffins was decent, but again, the cast rate, it's not like I was spamming stuff super fast that I needed it, uh, but the negative 19 enemy lightning resist versus D-clone was probably certainly helpful. So yeah, that's it. Another D-clone, another Annie just fun times. So yeah, that's it. Thanks.